Okay, this is like a major no-no in Berlin. We're across, I'm in the middle of the street and the apple man is red. Don't do this if you're a visitor. Don't. The natives will get really upset with you. But on an entirely different note, welcome back to Berlin and Packer Avenue. Uh, today we're kind of semi-starting our, uh, the pizza review or the pizza visits or the pizza, best pizza in Berlin. Um, I know we've done a currywurst and some burgers and stuff before. And I know before I brought you like um, Saturday without ballet because of the pandemic. But today it's Saturday with ballet as an opening. Um, I have a special guest with me today, uh, Johanna. She is a Jacqueline of all trades. And I know her primarily as a dancer and choreographer. And she's just back to Berlin after traveling the four corners of the world with one of her other jobs. And I'd like to introduce her and welcome to Packer Avenue. It sounds horrible though. I, it, it, there's a pandemic going on. I haven't just been traveling for fun, I must say. Um, <laughs> but I do live somewhere else and I'm just visiting. I have to excuse myself. And well, no, that's good. That. It's like, oh, I'm a virus spreader. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But she's I'm a vaccinated, vaccinated virus. And yeah. recovered, okay, so good. I'm fine. Good. So, but uh, you're the guest like for the beginning of the pizza reviews mm -hmm. and pizza tests and best Berlin and best pizza in Berlin. Are you a pizza lover? Do you like pizza? Ah, I like pizza. I like food in general. Um, I'm curious what you're going to show to me uh, because obviously there are different different kinds and yeah. Good point. I'm excited. Good point. So as polarized as the world is these days, and I know like especially even like being from America, there's the, the New York slice people, uh, there are the Chicago deep dish pizza people, there are the New Haven people. I danced in Milwaukee and in Milwaukee they had this pie with this cheddar cheese on it and stuff. And it all has basically the same stuff and um, I know I have my favorite and I'm sure that I will probably reveal that throughout this program. But um, I, went, I, would learn, I want this to be pizza love, pizza unifying and so uh, just to open our minds and try different things and explore and enjoy instead of saying that ain't pizza. <laughs> so anyway, enjoy the journey. I think today the first stop is... Uh, you told me. I already forgot. This is, um, this is a quiz. So Zia Maria. Oh, she's I was like going there. to say Zia Mama. Okay, Zia, Zia Maria. Zia Maria. Okay. <laughs> and then we're going to, this is, we're really like uh, flying by the seat of our pants here because I haven't spoken to them. I don't know what, if they'll let us um, film inside. Um, I know I looked at another place that we're going to go back and visit uh, later, but they didn't want any cameras inside. But I'm going to try to get you some good pizza making shots as well. First, a big shout out and thanks for the, to the folks at Zia Maria for letting us uh, go backstage and kind of see how things are being done. Uh, a little unconventional start. It's not coming from a proof dough, but um, pre-cooked dough, which is uh, unconventional, but here in Berlin also, the uh, Turkish embassies or the Duner places have Turkish pizzas and they're done very much the same way. Um, conventional with the ladle for the tomato sauce, but then we go uh, all Leonardo da Vinci with the paintbrush. So we've got some art going with the pizzas for sure. Um, the skilled hands of the pizza man and the cheese toppings. And so we're going to get a real good taste of this. We're going to see, I want to check out their, uh, the salami, see how spicy these are. And we're wait with bated breath for the final product. Okay. So the pizza is here. <laughs> My mouth is already watering, so I think okay, this, well, this looks you give, pretty I, good. Well, give it a taste, and then you could tell us what you think, and then uh, then I'll, right. I'll do See, my... See, before I give it a taste, I want to mention that I don't like if, and it, it's not here, so I'm very happy, if the, um, the topping doesn't reach the end. So if there's a thick crust and there is no extra, like, tomato sauce or... Or, so you um, like a bare crust or don't like a bare yeah, crust? Yeah, I don't like it. It's okay. too many It's too many carbs. It's, it's too just much. a piece of bread, yeah. and unless it's really good. Exactly. That's why I like Salami Social Club. We'll talk about that. <laughs> Another time. All right, yeah. I'll give this a try. Mm. Mm. And I know I'm asking you to speak with your mouth full, but what did you get on that? It's a vegetarian. It's vegetarian. It is, um, this is all vegetables. This has nuts and tomato and rucola 
I'm not a fan of uh, cauliflower, I must admit. Okay. So we'll see once I hit this part. But from the first bite, this was very crunchy and like an explosion of the tomato taste. So it's, you like the sauce? Okay. And, and the consistency of the crust as well. Okay. I'm, I'm happy. Good. Because you know, we've had a variety of different, like we've, I've mentioned before, okay? Uh, we're going to look at the uh, Napolitano style. We're going to look at, there's a place that we found that's got, a, it's a New York, um, New York slice. The guy is from New York, from Brooklyn, so we're going to give that a try. Maybe today, because I, uh, he might be there and I'd love to talk to him. Just, I think I've mentioned this before, I am the, um, more of the New York style, because it's like, it's what I grew up on. And, and I like the other style, but I can eat them and I like all, all of them, but that is like my go-to very, very favorite. Um, and New York style means the crust would be thicker than this? Definitely thicker than this. I mean, this is crispy and it holds up, but it's got more of that, the holder on the end and it's foldable, right, it's you know, it's that foldable. You go in, you give them fifty, maybe it's probably $3 now, it's been a while. And you just go in, grab it and you're on the street again. So it's like easy, fun. Now those, no matter the cheese, I mean, yeah, it's all mozzarella, but good mozzarella, the tomato sauce makes a big difference. And uh, this, I'm interested in the, uh, in the pepperoni, salami, or whatever's on here. It's a piccata, the spicy one, so. Here all we right, go. let's see it. I think my reaction was a little stronger. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were, you had it, it's like, I love this even before it hit my mouth. Yeah, <laughs> I had no breakfast. <laughs> and was suffering in your class. This is, it's a pretty good mixture of, it's, it's like you could really get the melted cheese, you could taste the sauce, a little more sauce might be good. It's a tasty sauce. Um, it's a good, simple, very thin crust. Uh, worth a try. Now, once again, it all comes down to your personal preferences. If this was Barstool, Barstool reviews, this would be like maybe 6.3 for those of you that understand. Okay. 6.3 out of 10? 6.3 out of 10. What? But he gave some very, very, no, this is because you can't go to the top. The top has got to be like, I see. like freaking phenomenal. Unachievable. And so even when you get those points in there, like 6.3, 6.3 is good anywhere like five, six, seven is like good. So That's a true ballet person speaking here. Like you can never achieve a 10 in ballet. <laughs> you're always striving for perfection. You never reach it. It's kind of and that's what you're projecting on the yeah. pizza. Everybody doesn't win a trophy in this world. <laughs> Except if you're playing in Little League. But anyway. Anyway. Good, thin, and very tasty um, way. It's a kind of a nice way to get started on the pizza reviews. So. We just wanted to thank you guys. You're a great staff and very friendly. Thanks for everything. Okay, so we're like doing double duty today. Johanna's working overtime, so to speak. But we did at least walk across town, so we worked off some of those carbs. And she's looking pretty excited about this one. And what did you order? I, I can't wait to taste this. This is the truffle slice. It has portobello mushrooms, ricotta, and truffle oil. So we're actually we're trying to wait for John, uh, the, the owner. This is Magic John's, okay? Uh, Magic John is from Brooklyn, and he opened this place, so the website says it's because he just wanted a slice. He just had a hanker in for a slice. And so he worked out the ingredients. I know there's a lot of changes that have to happen. This is not New York ingredients here. But I absolutely loved my other one. So let's can see, you pick see. it up and hold it and see what that, see what the hold is like when you fold, let's hold and it. fold. Let's try it. So, ah, pretty good, almost. I had a little, a little bit of the same thing, not quite, but it's a big slice, so it's a lot, to, it's a lot to cover. Mmm, truffle. Could you use your lips? <laughs> no, they're busy keeping the food in my head. Mmm. All right, Frank. Let's see yours. Okay, now I'm feeling, okay, this is a much, this is breadier, this is much more, that is, that's New York style, New York style, Philly style. This is a big, this is a, a, peak, a New York size, and check that out. That's like, that's, that's bar school worthy right there. That <laughs> did hold up, you just had a lot of stuff on there, that truffle was a little heavy for that crust, so. The bite. That's 
said this the other day. This pizza, this pizza is home. Like, I feel like I'm a New Yorker. So how would you rate it? How many points out of 10? So, this is tough because it's like that it's the only kid in town. And it's still not going. This would be really high for bar stool, but I'm going like seven, nine, eight. And that's really, that's really, really good. Like I'd agree on 8. that. 8.1. So to I, me, like we, yeah. we don't give tens, but that was, that was really, so sorry, Bobby Flay, but this might be a Bobby Flay 10. If, if we were allowed to give a 10, I would give it a 10. If you have to be in Berlin, you just definitely, like, and you, if you're like in the mid area, um, you're, uh, the Oranian Burger Strasse. This is a must, and even a must if you just if you need a slice, if you need to get out and get a slice, if you miss it, you've been here for a while, try it. And please, if you like pizza and if you like what we're doing, like and subscribe. Yes, this is important for the review. I'm just gotta say. Yeah, I have to revoke whatever I said before. This is amazing.